In 2017, comedian Hari Kondabolu released the documentary The Problem with Apu, discussing Apu's portrayal on The Simpsons, Hank Azaria's performance, and the effect that his representation has on the Indian American community. Upon reflecting on the documentary, Azaria eventually decided he would no longer perform the character. Apu was relegated to strictly background appearances. The show only directly referenced the controversy in 2018, stating that some things will be addressed at a later date. So, uh, what's going on with Apu? It's been six years since that episode. Did he quietly move away, or does Apu still have a future on The Simpsons? So, one of the most common requests I get as a Simpsons YouTuber is to do a Simpsons Histories for Apu. He is a very notable character, there's a lot of history there, of course he's a great candidate. But I've held off on his histories for a few different reasons. The most pragmatic being, I don't know what they're going to do with him. I don't want to make a histories video if it's going to be immediately out of date with a status quo change. All those videos had that problem but Apu is obviously a very special case. That being said, I'm tired of waiting around. Apu's histories video is turning into a mysteries because no one knows what's going to happen. Today, we're gonna to talk about Apu's role in The Simpsons, how the controversy went down, and make our best guess as to the end of his story. Now for the Apu's history part, I'm going to give you the abridged version. Because if you're a bad enough Simpsons fan to be watching my channel, you probably know most of this already. Apu's first appearance was in Season 1's The Telltale Head. In Al Jean and Mike Reese's script, he was referred to as Clark. There was some disagreement regarding how Apu's voice and character came to be. In audio commentaries, both Al Jean and Mike Reese said that they didn't want the Clark to be Indian, to avoid a hacky stereotype joke. But when Hank Azaria came to the table read, he did the voice, it got a big laugh, and that's how Apu became Apu. However, in 2007, Azaria recalled it differently, saying the writer specifically asked for it, and he complied. I'm guessing both groups are correct, where Gene and Reese didn't want him to be Indian, and a different writer or producer pitched the idea. The Simpsons is a collaborative writing effort after all, and Gene and Reese weren't running the show back in season one. Anyway, Apu's voice was inspired by Peter Sellers' Indian character in the 1968 film The Party. After this point, Apu in the Quickie Mart would appear regularly throughout the Simpsons' classic era. Like many secondary characters not named Chief Wiggum, the writers made an effort to give him depth. We hear about his religion in Homer the Heretic, and he joined both Homer's Barbershop Quartet and the Pin Pals. He teaches Lisa about vegetarianism. Homer works for him in the Quickie Mart in Season 3, and helps him get fired in Season 5. The episode Homer and Apu sort of marries him to his job, as if it were something he couldn't live without. In Season 7's Much Apu About Nothing, we finally get his proper backstory, learning that he moved to America to study computer science and that he started working for the Quickie Mart to pay off his student loans. The Simpsons used Apu to portray the immigrant's journey in America in this episode, providing a personal touch as they examine the issue. After that point, during the Mike Scully years, Apu pivoted to being a family man, and all of his spotlights revolved around that. In Season 9, he had his arranged marriage to Manjula, with a traditional Indian wedding in the Simpsons' backyard. In Season 10, Apu's romantic gestures make all the other husbands look bad. In Season 11, the octuplets are born. And in Season 13, he cheats on Manjula and begs for her forgiveness. Interestingly, the later seasons backed off this angle. I don't know if the writers got sick of listening to Hank Azaria and Jan Hooks bickering or what. We did get one Marriage Crisis episode in season 21, alongside Homer and Reverend Lovejoy, but otherwise we'd get stories like the Quickie Mart being threatened by a new competitor, or Apu joining another of Homer's music groups, this time as the lead singer of their cover band. Notably, Apu's rock and roll singing is quite different from his speaking voice. And finally, he put his computer science and math skills to good use 
by coaching a church card counting team. Wow, season 26 was really good to a poo. These are both hidden gems from that era. However, by this point, The Simpsons was already receiving a great deal of criticism for Apu's portrayal in the series. In 2012, during seasons 23 and 24, writer and comedian Hari Kondabalu created a web-exclusive segment for the Totally Bias series. In it, he discussed Mindy Kaling's new series and Indian Americans' portrayal on television. This segment featured a callout of Apu, describing Hank Azaria's performance as, quote, a white guy doing an impression of a white guy making fun of my father. The segment quickly went viral, bringing public scrutiny to the character. In 2013, the Huffington Post published an article, Is It Time to Retire a Poo?, which featured quotes from both Azaria and Kondabalu. Azaria described how he had never really talked about it before, and recounted how the character came about in season 1. He noted, if the only representation of Jews in our culture was Robin Williams' impression of a Yiddish guy, I guess I might be upset with that too. In response to the criticism, The Simpsons produced the season 27 episode Much A Poo About Something, airing at the beginning of 2015. In this episode, Jamshed returns to give the Quickie Mart a facelift, except he has somehow grown into a tiresome millennial named Jay. Jay literally calls out A Poo for being a stereotype and later fires him when he refuses to go along with the changes. The two apologize and make up in the end. While some praised the episode for addressing the controversy, others disliked its approach, in particular this Luigi joke undercutting the message of Jay's callout. In 2017, Kondabalu's documentary, The Problem with Apu, premiered on True TV. In it, he describes his experiences growing up during the Simpsons boom in the 90s, with Apu being the only Indian character on TV. He detailed Apu's origins on the show, as well as Hank Azaria's inspiration. He also discussed the broader history of white actors playing people of color in the entertainment industry, interviewing Whoopi Goldberg about her collection of racist Americana and the history behind them. He interviewed several prominent Indian Americans who recounted similar experiences with Apu. He spoke to his parents about the character as well, trying to get to the root of why Apu doesn't bother people from their generation as much. Hari tried repeatedly to get Hank to participate in the documentary. There are many scenes of him reaching out trying to get an interview. He does speak to comedian and former Simpsons writer Dana Gould. But in the end, in a personal email, Hank declines to be in the documentary and wishes him good luck. As you probably remember, The Problem with Apu received a great amount of attention in the media and the Simpsons fandom. There were so many articles and opinion pieces written about the subject, and certainly many YouTube video essays. As for the series itself, Hank Azaria had been still performing Apu all the way through season 28 as usual. But in season 29, they decided to limit the character to non-speaking appearances while they figure things out. Apu's last speaking role was in the season 29 premiere, The Surfsons, airing in October of 2017. His last line is, take a peasant, leave a peasant. This was not, however, the beginning of the Janie renaissance. Sorry, Janie. The Simpsons series did respond to the documentary later that season during the episode No Good Read Goes Unpunished. In the B-plot, Marge reads Lisa a book written years ago, and they are horrified by how problematic it is. Marge tries to sanitize the story, fails, and asks, what am I supposed to do? Lisa replies, it's hard to say. Something that started decades ago and was applauded and inoffensive is now politically incorrect. What can you do? And Marge says, some things will be dealt with at a later date, if at all. I gotta say, this scene is kind of amazing in how it made basically no one happy. It's impressive when you can piss off every side at once. I have never heard anyone on any side of the issue praise this scene for existing. Those hoping for change saw it as dismissive and reductive of the actual issue. Hari Kondabolu himself criticized their response. To me, it kind of feels like they were trying to say, hey, we're still working on it. But the messaging was extremely, extremely poor. Come on, guys. Shortly afterward, 
Hank Azaria appeared on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert and discussed the poo. He had been reflecting greatly and regretted the harm that the character caused the people. When asked what he hoped to see happen going forward, Azaria said, I really want to see Indian, South Asian writer, writers in the room, not in a token way, but genuinely informing whatever new direction this character may take, including how it is voiced or not voiced. You know, I'm perfectly willing and happy to step aside or help transition it into something new. Around the same time, Castlevania executive producer Adi Shankar offered help in improving Apu's portrayal on the show. He started a screenwriting contest, crowdsourcing the cure for The Simpsons, where writers could present scripts with possible solutions, with the winner being presented to The Simpsons and Fox. To be clear, this was not an officially sanctioned effort by the show. Shankar did select a winning script, in which Apu becomes a successful businessman in Springfield. But The Simpsons did not produce it. I'm not even sure if it ever got formally pitched, since The Simpsons doesn't solicit scripts from outside its production team. Later in 2018, in an interview with IndieWire, Shankar said, I got some disheartening news back that I verified from multiple sources now. They're going to drop the Apu character altogether. They're not going to make a big deal out of it or anything like that, but they'll drop him altogether just to avoid the controversy. Al Jean came out on Twitter and dismissed this rumor, stating that Shankar does not represent the show. In 2020, Hank made it official in an interview with Slash Film that he will no longer voice the character. All we know, I won't be doing the voice anymore, unless there is some way to transition it or something. Learning about this, Condoballo tweeted, If Hank Azaria is indeed no longer doing the voice of Apu, I do hope they keep the character and let a very talented writing staff do something interesting with him. In 2021, in a USA Today interview, Matt Groening was asked about Apu, stating, We've got plans for Apu, but we have to see if we can make the stories work. And that they don't have an actor to voice him, but we're working on something kind of ambitious. That's all I can say. None of these plans have materialized as of this video's production. Apu did continue appearing as a background character throughout seasons 29 through 34. Here he is dancing with Manjula, at the diner with his family, back on the roof during the Simpsons World Halloween segment. He even had his own Simflix series at the beginning of A Serious Flanders. In other episodes, like season 29's Singing in the Lane, Mo explains that Apu quit the Pin Pals because he didn't have time to bowl since the octuplets were born. Interestingly, I don't think Apu's shown up in any season 35 episode yet. I didn't go back and watch every episode again, and the season's not over yet, but it would be curious if he had totally disappeared from background scenes. So now you have a decent idea of how the Apu story went down on The Simpsons. I apologize if I missed any major events or interviews, I try to be thorough and source stuff, but googling anything these days is a baffling ordeal. And honestly, I am only good at researching Simpsons episodes. I just want to give you a general overview of what has happened so far. I purposefully didn't get too deep into the issue itself, because frankly, I feel the problem with Apu speaks for itself. If you've never seen the documentary, I recommend checking it out even if you disagree with him. One of the other reasons why I never discussed Apu on this channel is because, frankly, I don't really know anything about South Asian representation on television. And I think a lot of YouTubers get themselves in trouble by tackling subjects they don't know about. This is how ignorant takes or plagiarism scandals happen. I did enjoy watching the documentary because it provided a perspective that I wasn't familiar with. The only thing I really know about is The Simpsons, so I would rather tackle this topic from the perspective of The Simpsons fandom. To be honest, I've always been kind of puzzled why this documentary is so hated by fans, because all of his criticisms are directed toward The Simpsons. And Simpsons fans love criticizing The Simpsons. It's like our national pastime. I feel like it's sometimes easy as a fan to take criticism weirdly personally when talking about characters that we like. That when someone argues that Apu is a racist stereotype, you might think to yourself, but I like Apu, are they saying I like racism? 
Like you've heard of parasocial relationships, this is like parasocial criticism. I didn't create a poo. I didn't bully Indian kids during school. Why is he trying to make me feel guilty? I feel like some of that defensiveness is missing the point. Besides, I would argue that the reason why Simpsons fans like a poo is because the Simpsons writers are really freaking good at their job. That they successfully made him likable and gave him depth. Fans don't like a poo because he's a horrible stereotype and that they consciously want to make fun of Indian Americans. Or at least I hope they don't. They like him because he delivers killer lines like the Jurassic Park rant, or has episodes like Much Poo About Nothing. I don't know if the writers felt guilty about his creation and worked hard making him a real character or what, but I can see why they were so defensive about all the effort they put into him. I've heard the argument that because Apu is a fleshed out character with depth, that he isn't an outdated stereotype anymore. But I don't think that's true either. People don't think about archetypes in terms of their character development. When you call someone a Scrooge, you're not saying, look at that person who learned the spirit of Christmas. To casuals, when they think of a poo, they think of that guy who runs a convenience store. And when he was basically the only Indian American character on TV during Simpsons Mania, I can see why folks didn't like being viewed as the thank you come again people, all delivered in that Peter Sellers impression voice. I don't want to relitigate the whole argument, that's not what this video is about anyway. To make a long story short, I'm not personally offended by Apu, but I understand why others would be. The argument about Apu, the voice, the outdated stereotype, makes logical sense to me. And if they want him to change, I'm like, yeah, let's do it. This show has been on for 30 years. These characters are so outdated and stale, you know? It's not 1990 anymore. If there's a way to make Apu enjoyable for everyone, why not? He's not perfect. Maybe Simpsons fans should look at it as a chance to revitalize a character that's been on autopilot for the past 20 years. At the end of the day, all of us want to see the show do something new. So what is actually going to happen with Apu on The Simpsons? I think everyone, on every side of the issue, is curious about their final decision. Let's go through some of the possible outcomes and take our best guess as to what will happen. I'm gonna go through it from least likely to most likely, in my opinion. First up, the return to the old status quo. Hank Azaria returns to the role and no change to the character. I'm gonna put this at a 0.1% chance as this is pretty much a non-starter at this point. Hank himself decided he's not going to do the voice anymore, and the show has already recast other characters. That's just where we are at this point. Scenario number two. They recast the role, and Apu continues working as the clerk at the Quickie Mart. I'm going to put this at a 9.9% and get rid of that decimal. I think this scenario is somewhat unlikely as well. It would be a weird decision to be like, hey, Ari is right about a white guy doing his accent, but he's not right about the convenience store thing. I could kind of see this happening because they might decide this is less of a stereotype in 2024, but also because The Simpsons is so in love with their status quo. I could see this reality happening, but I think other scenarios are more likely. Next up, Apu disappears from the show forever without an official send off. 15% chance. That might be where we are now, based on how season 35 is going. After all the controversy and discussion, it's possible they simply decide it's better to retire the character. The argument that Apu is too tainted by past history, that him hanging around would be a reminder. Personally, I hope this isn't what happens and don't expect it to be their solution, but given corporations' aversion to controversy, this option is totally on the table. They could just keep a poo in a background non-speaking role. I'd put this at 20%. I don't know how I feel about this solution either, as he would be kind of a ghost on the show, haunting the Simpsons from the background. Part of me thinks it's more likely they would get rid of him completely. This is what they've been doing since season 29, so it's possible we already have their answer. I still think it's more likely that they would recast him, given their other recastings. And it would go one of two ways. 
First, they could recast Apu for one final farewell episode. This is a 25% chance. Essentially, they would write him out of the show, but give the character some official closure. Maybe Apu gets student loan forgiveness, pursues his career in computer science, and they move away. Maybe he becomes governor and moves to Capital City. There are a lot of story possibilities to make this happen. In the end, The Simpsons could decide to move on from the character, give him a happy ending, and give the audience a sense of closure. However, if I had to bet on it, I would guess that they will recast Apu and change his status quo in some way. 30% chance. I don't know, call me an eternal optimist that The Simpsons will figure out some magical solution that will make everyone happy. Or the most number of people less mad. That they'll figure out something to do where we can all enjoy Apu's personality and he would be a more modernized representation for the show. I am sure I'm being naive and thinking there is a happy ending that most everyone will love. I'm not even sure what such an ending would look like. But The Simpsons has many resources they can use in figuring out. So many people and groups they can consult. I'm sure they have discussed different possibilities. Maybe this is why it's taking so long. That they want to go down this road, but they don't want to mess it up. My biggest thing is that I hope they don't just run away from the issue forever. I understand the instinct to run from uncomfortable situations. I have been doing this YouTube channel for years and have been running from discussing this topic myself. I admit it, I had other reasons, which I outlined, but I was also being a little cowardly. It's that paralyzing fear that you're gonna screw it up and embarrass yourself. But the Simpsons that I know wouldn't run from this issue. I think a lot of people, both Apu fans and Apu critics, want to see the character come back in some way. Like Ari has said on so many occasions that he doesn't want Apu to disappear from the show. He and Hank have talked about it, reached an understanding, and were on a podcast together in 2023. Hank recently said that they're great friends now. As heated as the whole thing has been, there has also been reconciliation. There can be a good outcome. It would be really crappy if the end result of all this discussion and debate is, well, now we don't have a South Asian character on The Simpsons. Progress. No, that's shitty. We shouldn't go with the solution that nobody wants. The writers and fans insist that Apu is more than just a voice in a job, so it's time for the show to prove it. I said at the beginning that I didn't want an Apu's histories to quickly go out of date, but I don't feel the same about this video. Please, please, please make this video a relic. It's been seven years since the documentary. Let's get a good resolution for the problem with Apu.